Hey everyone, so in this video, I've come up with another SQL interview question that has been asked in Misho. So the problem is on finding three months moving average of revenue. So this problem will also help you understand how to calculate sales trends over time. So let's move on to the problem statement here. So assume that you have been given two tables. One is the customers table and the other one is the orders table. So for the customers table, you can see there are three columns, the customer ID, which is the unique identifier for each customer. Name is the name of the customer and join date is when the, when the customer got joined. Now for the orders table, you can see there are four columns. Order ID is again the unique identifier for each order. Customer ID is the ID of the customer who placed the order. So order date is the date of the order and amount is the order amount in dollars. Now you have to calculate the three month moving average of sales revenue for each month using the sales data in the orders table. Also the moving average should start calculating once three months of data are available providing insight into average sales trends over time. So let's take a look at the input table and the output table over here. So these are your input tables, the customers table and the orders table. And this is how your output table should look like. It has three columns, month, monthly sales and the moving average sales of the three months. Now let's understand how this output table just got derived from these input tables. So to derive this uh, output table, uh, first of all, we will have to calculate monthly sales. So to do that for each month, we will calculate the total sales using some function on the amount column. So for the monthly sales calculation for each month, we are just making use of some function on the amount column to calculate the total sales. So if you see for the January month, so for the January month here, for the order date, if you see there is one column for the January month, two columns for the February month, one column for the March, then one for the April, one for the May and another one for, for the June. So let's just calculate the, the total sales amount for each month. So for the January month, it, the total sales amount is 100. For the February month, the total sales amount is going to be 150 plus 200, that is 350. For the March month, it is going to be 300 as it is since we have only one row for this. And similarly for the April, May and June. So the monthly sales calculation will something look like this. It, it should have month. So this is the January month having monthly sales 100. For the February month, it has 350. For March, it has 300. For April, it is going to be 250. For May, it is going to be 400. And for June, it is going to be 350 because we don't have more rows to calculate uh, the sum. So that is going to be the sum, uh, the total sum for that particular month. So once we have just calculated our uh, monthly sales so let's move on to calculate the three months of moving average so to calculate the three months of moving average of sales, sales revenue we need to consider the current month revenue and the revenue of the two preceding months so the three month moving average for a given month will be calculated as follows so revenue of current month plus revenue of previous month and plus the revenue of the month before previous month divided by three since we want to compute the average so let's just calculate starting from March. Since we have been given that, the moving average should start calculating once three months of data are available. And here, uh, the three months of data is available uh, starting from March. So for the March of 2023, moving average sales will be cal calculated as the average of January, February and March, will, which will come out to be 100 plus 350 plus 300 divided by 3 and it will be around 250. Now for the month of uh, April, it, it is going to be it is going to be the average of uh, revenue of uh, February month, March month and the April month and uh, it will be 350, 350 plus 300 plus 250 divided by 3 that will come out to be 300. Now for the month of May, uh, for the month of May, it, it, it is going to be the average of March, April and, and May. So it will be 300 plus 250 plus 400 divided by 3. So this is how it is going to be for uh, that uh, that will be 316.67 and for the month of June it is going to be the average of April, May and June which is 250 plus 400 plus 350 divided by 3 that is 333.33. So I hope you are clear with the output like how the output is, has just got derived. 
So let's move on to writing the SQL query to get this expected output. So what would be our approach? Let's discuss that. So here is how we are just going to approach our solution using SQL. So our step one would be to calculate the monthly sales as we just did. So first of all, we will just write a CT to calculate the monthly sales. We will be uh, using date format on the order date column. So it will just extract just the year and the month from the order date. And then we will just group by this uh, month column uh, and we will just use the sum of amount to get the total sales per month. In our second step, we will be just calculating the three month moving average using window function. So here this average is computed by taking the current month sales along with the along with the sales of the two pre previous months. So we will be using average function with a window function uh, to achieve this. And in, in, in my last step, uh, I will be just sorting my results uh, by order by month. So it will just uh, give my results in the chronological order. So that will ease uh, in my analysis. So let's move on to the implementation part over here. So guys, as we discussed, here are my input tables, the customers table and the orders table. So this is my customers table and this is my orders table. And since I need to calculate the three months of moving average. So as we discussed, our first step is going to be to calculate the monthly sales. And to do that, we will be writing a CT. So let's create a CT to calculate the monthly sales totals. So I'm just performing. So I'm just giving the CT name as the monthly sales as. And here I'm just going to write my query. So whatever the columns that I want to retrieve, I'll just retrieve it out afterwards. So this I'm going to take from my orders table. So as I said, here we will be using date format function on the order date column to extract just the year and month from the order date because we don't uh, need the exact date. We are only dealing with the month and the year. So to do that, let's just make use of date format. So date format on order date column, order date column. And I just want to format it as year dash month i just want year and month so this will just give me month okay so okay this has to be single yeah fine now now, since I want to calculate the sum of amount to get the total uh, sales per month. So here I want to use some on my amount column, amount, amount column. So it will just give me, so what it will give me as the monthly total sales, let's say, but monthly sales is something that is in my output table. So this is my monthly sales. I have to put comma over here. And since this is my aggregate function, I have to apply the group by function on this thing. So I'm just doing group by on my date format. So all the non-aggregated rows has to be in group by function as we already know. So this is my CT that I just wrote here just as month okay so this is my ct that i just wrote if i just run this ct i should be getting so as you can see that we have got uh, our result here we have two two columns month column and the monthly sales column so the month column denotes uh, the respective month so as you can see we have got for the january month it is 100 for the february month as we discussed it will going to be it is it is going to be 350 which is nothing but uh, 150 plus 200 for the february month and so on for the march april may and june month now after writing this ct 
my next step was to calculate the three month of moving average using uh, average window function so let's just do that select from from i'm just going to consider the above ct so monthly sales so this is my ct name and from the ct i just want to extract whatever the columns that i want to extract i'm just going to write this so month is something that i want to extract monthly sales also something i just want to extract and the third column that i want is three months of moving average so to calculate the three months of moving average i'm going to use the average window function over here so here i will be using rows between two preceding and current row clause uh, to define the window for calculating the moving average so let's just write that so the average average on my monthly sales monthly sales that i just derived from my first ct this one so this column so i have to do average on this over i'm just going to apply window function it should be order by order by month order by month rows between between two preceding to preceding and current current row so it should actually calculate the average of two preceding two preceding and the current so 100 plus 350 plus 300 so that is this is how it, it's going to calculate for the month of march that will be 100 plus 350 plus 300 divided by 3 so it will just calculate like that and it is going to be moving average of sales that is three months of moving average of sales if i just round the result then i can just make use of round function so let's just round it round off this and i just want to round it by two decimal places so sorry okay now at last i just want to perform the order by function so that is that is going to be on my month column so it will make sure that my output is displayed in the chronological order so if i just run my complete query what i will be getting is some kind of error on my monthly sales so okay so this is my this okay i hope it should give the result now yeah so as you can see that we have got our expected output so we have successfully calculated the three months of moving sales so here i will just quickly explain what we have just done now so we first calculated the monthly sales using a cte uh, so this is my CT name, monthly sales, and to do that, I just made in the in that in the CT, I just applied date format function. So this will just extract uh, the order date uh, uh, in this format, year and the month, and uh, I just applied the sum function on my monthly sales to get the total amount of uh, the sales for that combin for that uh, for that particular month and year combination now uh, now later on i just applied a window function to calculate the ro rolling three month moving average giving us a clearer view of monthly sales trends so here i just applied this so a uh, window function over order by month it should be ordered by month it should not be like uh, in uh, different different orders definitely uh, we will be applying order by month rows between uh, two preceding and current low current row so here using uh using this uh, it just calculate uh, calculate the average of current month and the two preceding months so this clause this clause actually uh, defines the window for calculating the moving average so that that's how you can just calculate the moving average like this so i hope you are clear with the solution let's uh, meet in the next video thank you